muscle cells and stuff. crystal cells and stuff on instagram thank you so much for returning to the channel today we have reached over 700 subscribers i'm so happy that you come to watch me again today so today i'm going to share with you my sewing patterns from the uh big four pattern companies uh, you know B vogue butter it mccall simplicity and a couple of quick sews as well and today i'm going to share with you my tops collection all right let's get into it Okay, so here we are today with my uh, top sewing patterns. So, this first one is um, Simplicity 8335. That's the actual number, not the display number. And this is a cute top with, with a cute um, scooped back detail with ruffles on it. The next one is Simplicity 1589. And I have made this, and I made it with the flat back right here. Um, and I'll show a picture of it. It was one of my earliest patterns that I've ever made. So um, it's not the best, but um, it was. this is a really easy pattern. That's Simplicity 1589. I think I did pretty well. I did this. I made this top about three years ago. Really cute, easy pattern. Learn to sew pattern. The next one is uh, McCall's M7541. This is a cape top. I really think that is totally cute. The next one is Vogue 7, I mean Vogue 9242. Really cute top with different drop, drop, um, open shoulder, uh, a flounce top with open shoulder, different open shoulder options. I really like this one with the flounce. Really cute pattern. The next one is the, was like the pattern of the year last year. And, um, that's McCall 7542, and I made view C of this top. This is a pretty good pattern. Um, the only thing is that the neckline comes up pretty high. If I made it again, I would scoop out the neckline a little bit more and finish it probably with bias binding instead of the facing for this one. But again, that's McCall 7542. The next one is McCall's 7571. And I made this top. I made this um, for uh, a challenge by Hobbling Handmaids, and she's now the uh, the little stitcher, I believe. And she's and she's and I made this top view B. Nice pattern. It's a lot of ruff I really liked all the ruffles. Next one is Simplicity 1107. I made this pattern this summer. I did view uh c but i omitted the um this the middle seam line all the seam lines in the middle um, for this one and i made it just a solid right here simplicity 1107 the next one is simplicity 8642 and i just finished this one this summer as well and i did it in a um a pink polka dot um, pattern right here i did this view version a the next one is Simplicity 1316. Really cute top with color blocking options. And this is another cute top, Simplicity 1106. I picked this up because I have a, um, a membership with Creative Bugs, and this is one of the patterns that they have for um, with, a, with, a tu with a tutorial. It's a cute pattern. Another, another one that you can do color blocking with. The next one is McCall's Laura Ashley M7358, a cute little wrap top, really cute. And this one has um, pleat details up on the on the sides, and the, or you can do it without it. Really cute top. The next one is McCall's 3111, and this is one I picked up at a thrift thrift shop. Looks like it's from the 90s or so. I like all the ruffle details on this top. The next one is Very Easy Vogue 8905. Cute pattern with nice cutout details. Good for nice drapey fabrics. 
The next one is New Look 6414. And I did this version B. I really love this top. I'll show a picture of it right here. So the next one is Simplicity 1461. Really cute tunic pattern with a lot of different options for necklines and extra details. Here's another uh, tunic pattern. I was really into doing tunics at first because I was scared to do buttons. So I bought a whole bunch of tunic patterns. So this one is McCall 7128. The next one is New Look 6450, a really cute flouncy pattern for light, lightweight fabrics. The next one is New Look 6490, and I made this one in a light blue crepe. I had a little difficulty with this whole neckline business right here. So if I made it again, I might do view B instead. But it still came out pretty good, cute. Again, that's New Look 6490. The next one, these are both uh, peplum style tops. So the next one is McCall 7162, another Laura Ashley pattern. And this one has um, different, different types of peplums. You could do a straight, a double peplum, or a longish one. The next one is McCall's 7602. And I like these, all the contrasting details, all the... All the business that's going on with this. I like all of those details on this one. McCall 7602. I might do this one next summer. The next one is McCall 7411. Really cute, simple tank top. I haven't made that one yet. And then this next one is very easy Vogue 7478. And I have done view B. And I use it as a pajama top. The next one is New Look 6483, and I picked this one up at a thrift shop, even though I believe it is still current right now. Um, and it's it's cute um, shell top, different options, sleeve options. The next one is Butter 3383, and I've made this top, and I've used that as a pajama top as well for View B. Really easy pattern, has a cute split hem. The next one is Butterick. It's a Gertie pattern, Butterick 6217. And I like the sweetheart neckline right here. The next one is McCall's 6563. Cute little top. And I believe Shauna Kittenish Behavior has made this version A several times, but she made some alterations to it. But again, that's McCall's 6563. The next one is Simplicity 8512, and I really like the flounce shoulder. You can see a little bit better here on this one. And it has some cute, and this big sleeve one is really cute too. The next one is Simplicity 8260, and I like the back detail here. Um, this is a cute little party shirt, or you could probably just use a regular jersey to make it more casual. Again, 8260. The next one is Butterick 6355. Really cute options here. Cold shoulder option and um, different tunic options. The next one is March Tilton Vogue 9171. And I really think this pattern is cute, but it's a fabric hog. Hold, hold on one second. Okay, so we're back, and um, the next one I left off here at Vogue 9171. This is a cute little tunic style pattern with pocket options. And I've been wanting to make this pattern, but it takes up a lot of fabric. It's like four, yard, four yards or so, just for one, one pattern. Actually, it's on this other page. So it's about four yards for just this one pattern, so that's why I haven't made this one yet. But it's really cute. The next one is Vogue 8977, and I made this View C. I made this for my level three class in um, my sewing class at the Sassy Sewer here in Parkville, Maryland. Again, I made View C. The next one is Simplicity 1315. This is a cute little uh, pleated top with a uh, Cuff details and short sleeve options, different sleeve options. The next one is 8215. Another, this has different pussy bow 
blouse um, options and collar options as well as sleeve options cute top the next one is Vogue 9006 I like the swoop neckline here on all the different versions short sleeve sleeveless and long sleeve then this one is Berta style 6579 and I like this because it has different color blocking options and, sh and it has, it's a, a cap sleeve or you can do long sleeves the next one is McCall's 7322 cute little jersey top with different options tank or with sleeves the next one is quick sew 4028 cute little scoop neck drop neck uh, knit sweater knit pattern the next one is simplicity 8386 and I like this off show I like this one sleeve option right here as well as this crisscross option the next one is Butterick 6216 and I like the uh, little inlet detail on the back with the crisscross on the back as well as this longer one UB next we have two quick sew patterns and we have quick sew K4176 and this comes with a tank top as well as a tunic and a split sleeve top the next one is and I, I bought this because I was thinking I could use it as a swim cover up just lengthen it a little bit the next one is quick sew 4157 cute color block in detail as well as um, you can do a layered look right here on view B next we have some more tunics Vogue 9085 has a, a bow tunic and then just the open style with different sleeve length options the next one is Vogue 9159 cute uh, tunic with different sleeve options here as well as a color blocking option the next are button up shirts and I did a, a a video in I think it was July where I made this top but I made it sleeveless again a simplicity 1279 the next one is simplicity 1538 cute button-up shirt the next two are more fancy button-up shirts we have Vogue 9029 as well as Vogue 8772 these have a whole lot of different details on them so these have this one has the pussy bow version. This one has a ruffle version as well as a pussy bow blouse version. The next one is Simplicity 2339. Another um, simple uh, button-up shirt for shirting fabric. And this one has a ruffle option, which I thought was cute. The next one is. McCall 7472 and I did make version B before and I made it for the shirt dress challenge for sew together for summer last year I think I'm pretty sure this is the one it was view B that I made next one is simplicity 8546 and I like this shirt dress um, this shirt dress that you can also wear as a uh, kind of like a kimono type over shirt over outfits I love the way they style it here with just a basic outfit and then she wears it like as a jacket again a simplicity 8546 then we have these um, dolman sleeve tops I have simplicity 8089 as well as 1062 this one has cuff a cuff detail for jersey and this one um, has a split sleeve detail they're both cute patterns next we have Butterick 6468 this looks so warm and cozy um, with a, and I like the pleat detail they have in the back right here as well as this open back right here the next one is Vogue 9298 and this is a, a unitard um, pattern and uh, what well, leotard pattern and uh, with the supplies top front really cute pattern next one is Vogue 9111 and I've made this 
yeah i've made this one i believe um view b right here i made it in a camo print last year i'll leave a picture next one is butterick 4347 and this is a turtleneck uh polar neck type pattern and it has different options for a crisscross neckline and then um also the regular turtleneck necklines right here the next one is butterick 6247 i really like this version a with the um the little flounce shoulder right here the next one is mccall's 7688 and I've made a similar um, paper cut pattern that was very similar to this. But I bought, went ahead and bought this because I like the hoodie as well as the sweater dress. So if I make this one, I will make U, C, or E because I'm, I've made one that's similar to D. The next one um, is Berta Young 7013. Cute little sweater dress or top pattern. Um, it looks like it's made out of like a sweatshirt fleece type fabric and I like the way they style it with these boots right here um, so that's Berta 7013 the next one is Soho 7 pattern and this one is Simplicity 8529 and has a split option as well as cuff sleeve options as well as a little little turtleneck option right here kind of loose fitting one I like that and the next one is McCall 6796. And um, Robert's wife collection had done a video on, it, on this. I don't know if she still has it up. But she did a video on how to make this top. And that's why I bought this pattern. Because I, like, um, I like the neckline with the buttons on the side. Really cute pattern. The next two are sweatshirt patterns. And this is McCall 6614. It has a whole lot of options. You can make a zip-up sweatshirt, any kind of sweatshirt you want with this one, as well as with, um, that's McCall 6614, as well as McCall 6992. So between these two, those are some great, I have a lot of options for making a sweatshirt. Then the next ones, I've, I made both both of these I made this one is McCall 7437 and I made this version with the tassels really good pattern I really like enjoyed this pattern the next one is Vogue 9207 and I like the little cutout detail right here and I've made this pattern as well really good pattern March Tilton Vogue 9207 and then we have Simplicity 1198 and this has like a nice back cutout right here as well as Vogue 8817 cute pattern with a lot of options for color blocking next we have Simplicity 1199 and that's the top I have on today and I did view view A right here the next one is Simplicity 8387. And I like this little back detail right here. Either, both of these are cute. This one has a tie up and this one has a tee back. Cute pattern. Then we move on to Simplicity 1280. And I like this um, crisscross in the front as well as this neckline right here. It comes with leggings as well. Then we have McCall 7686 and I have made version E. Of this one, I did it in black with a leopard print flounce. This is a really super easy, fast pattern. The next one was Butterick 5922. I picked this up at a thrift store. Cute little uh, Peter Pan collar. And then also a sheer sleeve one as well as a lace overlay option. And then we have McCall 70, 6754. And this cute little peplum tops as well as two dresses peplum sleeve sleeveless or long sleeves or even short sleeve a lot of options here then we get into um some the vogue one this is vogue 2980 and um i, I picked this up at a thrift store cute little pattern by sandra betsina and i like the shoulders right here 
I've shown this before in a haul video as well. But again, that's Vogue 2980. Next, we have Cynthia Rally Simplicity 8381. And it comes, I like the off shoulderness of this. As well, um, you can make a little tunic, um, sleeveless, with, without the shoulder edge, as well as a long maxi dress. Cute pattern. The next one is Simplicity 8216, and this is another pussy bow blouse, as well as it comes with dress options and a, um, a sleeveless tank option. Then we have this big giant one. I was on the fence about donating this one, but I decided to keep it for now. Um, but it's Vogue 1413. It has all these ruffles. This is a very fabric hungry pattern as well. And um, I think if I made it, I would probably do the sleeves so it wouldn't be too overwhelming. And I would make it, make sure the fabric was, um, you know, two sided because you could clearly see the other side. And it just, I just don't like the way they have it with the wrong sh side shown with the ruffles. But it's a cute pattern. Oh, another one this way. <laughs> then we have Vogue 1109. Uh, this is another cute pattern, a uh, knit pattern with a lot of options for color block and a lot of seam detail. Next we have the Sandra Betsina 1291, a nice lightweight fabric um, flouncy top. And this is my last pattern for the tops. All right. Okay, so I noticed that I skipped a page in my book, and the last two patterns are McCall 7753 with this off shoulder um, detail. Um, one has is sleeveless, and one is with sleeves, and then they have a version with a double ruffle, and then um, this one has the single ruffle, and this side has a little tie strap option as well. It's a really cute pattern, and it looks like it zips up on the side. Really cute. And then the last one is Simplicity 8601. And I, this is my most recent make. And um, this is a cute little top. And uh, I made version A in a floral print uh, rayon that I picked up from Mayfield Fabrics. So those are and all the patterns from the big four companies that I have. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.